polls showing a tight race in today's special House election in Pennsylvania. Voters deciding if Republican Rick Saccone or Democrat Connor Lamb will fill a vacant House seat. This is a district that a Democrat hasn't won in a major race in a long, long time. So uh, if Connor's able to win, I think it's a, it's a very telling indicator. Frankly, even if he, if he fell short by a couple of points, it's, this is a, a district that Mitt Romney won by 17 points, and the president, of course, won it by, I guess, 20 points. Um, so I think it's a very good indicator of where, where people are, that they want change, and they, they're not going to buy what uh, uh, Republicans here in Washington have been selling. G. Terry Madonna joins us with more on today's special election. He is director for politics and public affairs at Franklin and Marshall College. What do you think about that? I mean, everybody is trying to extrapolate out to the nation what this race will tell them about, you know, where politics are. Yeah. Is that the case or is this a very specific area? Yeah, well, I think that's a little bit of both. I mean, make no mistake about it. Uh, Rick Saccone has made every effort to nationalize the election. Obviously, as you, you all have been reporting, he's brought in the vice president. He's brought in President Trump not once but twice. Other major Republicans have been campaigning. He said, this is Saccone, I was Trump before Trump. There's no distance between the president on what he has done, what he wants to do, and Rick Saccone. On the other hand, the genius in some respects of what Connor Lamb has done is simply this. He has made this election about the 18th congressional district. He won't do national interviews. He shies away from national reporters. He wants to turn this in to a local election, the needs and the concerns mm -hmm. of, the, of, the lo of the local constituents. That's, that's an important. So you've got two elements going on. So in a sense, both arguments uh, have, have, a, ha have a rationale. So that, that's a very interesting point of view, that he wants to make it about the district. And in fact, people always say all politics is local, and that's the best way to win a, win yeah. a race. It, is, is it that, or is it that right now the Democratic Party on a national level is very weak? I mean, you have Hillary Clinton out making you know, comments that a lot of people find offensive you know, while she's on tour overseas. And you have Nancy Pelosi you know, saying that any money people are getting from the tax breaks right. are crumbs. You know, there isn't much to cling to nationally on a democratic level. Is it that? Yeah. Or is it, or is it you know, what you it, said, well, that it's about making politics local? Well, look what Connor Lamb has done. The first thing he did months, uh, weeks ago, I should say, not just more recently, was I'm not going to vote for Nancy Pelosi mm -hmm. for leader. Look what else he's done. He said, I identify with the working class voters. What he has been able to do is to take the union leaders and the rank and file and what have rank and file voters, many of them union members, done over the past several elections. Oh, they voted for Mitt Romney. They voted for President Trump. Yeah. They they voted for Tim Murphy, the incumbent, you know, the incumbent who had to leave. So what 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 he's been able to do is to take those elements and combine them together, both yeah. union leaders and the workers. The workers really moved away from the Democratic Party and helped these other Republicans uh, carry the district. So for Democrats, there's a lot to learn from this race and how it's been run. On the Republican side, you see the Republican candidate making himself very close to President Trump and even stealing some of his tactics to, with, you would either call it branding or name calling, depending on, on how you look at it. Right. Connor the chameleon, Lamb the sham. Um, he, you know, he's, yeah. he's taking right. everything from President Trump's playbook, right? Yeah, and it doesn't seem to have worked. I mean, what uh, Rick Saccone has done, he's run a very conventional campaign. He's going to this event and that event, linking himself very closely to the president. And typically you might think that would work, but the difference is not so much what, what uh, Saccone has done. The difference has been what Lamb has done, as we've been articulating, mm -hmm. with the grassroots effort. And here's something critical. Lamb is not your urban liberal Democrat. And moving forward in districts that Donald Trump won by, let's say, 8, 10, 15 points that the Democrats are going to try to, to, to win in the midterms this fall, the bottom line here is that Connor Lamb is a candidate who's a moderate. He's not way out in left field or way out in right field. And that has great appeal 
to a lot of voters, and that may be a path forward for the Democrats. For the Republicans, yeah. they can align themselves with President Trump, but, but they have to do it in a way trick. that doesn't push them away from the from the you know the district, from the voters in the district. Terrific analysis. Thank you so much for coming on. You shed so much light on this race. I appreciate it. Thank you.